What up guys, it's Tech Tutorials here back with another video and in this video I'll be showing you how to transfer music from your iPhone or any Apple device that you have onto your computer without using iTunes. With this there are several programs that you can use to transfer music however for the purposes of this video I'll be using iFunbox we'll be going through that on how to download that and all that. Uh, there's also three other programs that I know of iExplorer and I'm to iPhone transfer. Uh, these will be in the description below, but I will not be reviewing those, but you could also try those out if iPhone box doesn't work according to yours. So you want to go straight into your browser, whichever browser you use. Obviously, I prefer Google Chrome and you want to go to i-funbox.com and it will be in the description below. So just click that and you want to download it for whichever uh, operating system that you have. So iPhone box for Mac or iPhone box for Windows and download that. Once you've downloaded that, which I already have on my desktop, you'll open it and it will ask you to connect to the device. As you can see over here, it says no device connected. So just give me one second, I'm about to connect my device. And there you go. So it shows that my iPhone 5 has been connected. And so from this, you want to go to Quick Toolbox, which is like the idea. And you want to go to export files and data. You can also import files over here just, just to let you know if you guys want to do anything further with it. This is not only music, it, it's, it's a file manager for everything that you have on your iPhone, so it's pretty good. So in order to start the exportation process, you're going to just go over here, iPod Music, export the files and data, and export it to wherever you want to save it to. So I want to save it to desktop, save. It's going to start exporting all my music, and you're going to see how it's exporting down there, as you can see. Let me just minimize this and all my music's coming up on my desktop. So I know this was a bad location to put all my music because now my desktop's going to be overrun by icons, but that's the idea. And let me just show you that it's still doing it. Okay, so it's all done. It says all done just to make a confirmation. And there you go. All your music has been set to whichever folder you chose. Unfortunately for me, I chose it on my desktop, which is quite not intelligent. But that's the idea. As you can see, the music has been transferred onto my desktop. And I can also put music into my iPhone. Thank you very much. Please comment, like, and subscribe.